So we're at the Lake of the Clouds scenic overlook. And we're gonna go have a look at this cool overlook. There's Tony. Say hey, Tony. Hey, Tony. Mark's in front of me. There's Mark. There's Mark. And so once we're done here, we're gonna go get our stuff and uh, do it. Really go do camp it. out on Lake Superior and then spend a couple nights in the cabin. And uh, I'll show you on a map when I have a map. So yeah. we'll see you at the lake in a minute. Here we are, Lake of the Clouds. It's awesome. You're good. That's awesome. So that's government peak out there. Over here. So I'm using looking for what we call up there and hang out. That's cool, yeah. We're in Deckerville. Oh wow. wow. So he's a Man. grew up on a dairy farm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, you can see the there's a bridge down there. The yeah, the trail cutting through. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Escarpment Trail down there. That's awesome. What do you think, Tony? You like the Lake of the Clouds? You like it? Pretty cool, huh? I don't know. I haven't touched it yet. Not really. The looser the Yeah, the Lake of the Clouds. This is awesome. Super cool. Yeah, so this is the Lake of the Clouds. This is amazing. Tony's taking some pictures. Mark's over there taking pictures. Oh, he's doing something. Let's find out what he's doing. Do you see him? He's hopping down over there. Looks unsafe. Yeah, this is so cool. We're coming, we're coming. Look at this, man. All right. That's a nice shot, Mark. Let's not do anything too stupid. <laughs> Means lots of things. Here's one of the trails cutting out to the bridge down there. Yep. That's... We're gonna be over yonder ridge on the other side. So the the cabin's over there. Yeah, Somewhere. The other side of the ridge down that way. Awesome. Go back around and come up the south road. Okay. Our way in, watch your step. This kind of, it's kind of creepy. Yeah, I'm thinking if you went over the edge of that, that would be not such a good. It would hurt. This is awesome. Probably not that much. This is super. Now cool. imagine this all red, yellow, orange. Yeah. When you see some, yeah, there's a few yellows here and there. A couple of reds popping through, but it's. Now the escarpment trail is going to run all the way back up that ridge, and it comes down over that way. That'd be a fun one to do, huh? Have you done it? No, that was part of our route last time, but we cut it off at uh, at Lost Lake. This is beautiful. That is so cool. Look at that plane. Yeah. That's awesome. That's amazing. Yeah, they're not supposed to do that. Nice view. Yeah, only man. Thing, only to make it better, it would be fall. Yeah. What? Yeah. Fall, the colors. Fall on fire. Not us falling, Tony. <laughs> no. That's yeah, sweet. That can just look. I can see a couple out there on your top. It's just starting to change. Yeah. I'm colorblind. Oh. It's all blue, Tony. It's all blue, man. That's, That's so cool. Yeah. All right. Back to the car. To the. Let's do it. Let's go check in. Get checked in. in. We need some help. Oh, it's there you go. Cool. Can't get much better. Can't get much better. Thank you. Thank you. She loves owls. Ah, the great gray owl. 
the great horned owl. And uh, what do we have here? The long-eared owl and the barred owl. Tony, don't climb on the display. I'm gonna go ride the horse for bear. Uh oh. Right now we're at the visitor center, which is here, right there. And we are staying down here at this campsite number three. So we're gonna actually come and park over here, take a short hike in, and spend the night here on Lake Superior. Tomorrow, we're either gonna take the car and park up here and then take our stuff here to this cabin or we're gonna hike along the Little Carp River Trail and then just do some day hikes over the next couple days so we'll see how it goes. We're uh, super excited to be here. We uh, got up at two o'clock this morning and drove 10 hours to uh, Porcupine Mountains Wilderness State Park, the biggest one in the, uh, in the state. We're super excited to be here and uh, looking for a lot of fun. Lake La Clause was awesome. And uh, yeah, with Tony and Mark, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Catch you later. All right, so we're at the Pinkerton Trail Trailhead, and we're gonna hike up to a few miles up to Lake Superior Campsite number three. Mark's getting his pack on, and uh, Tony's helping him. There we are, and uh, the trail right behind me, and we're gonna get going here in just a minute. For like a mile and a half in the uh, down the trail and uh, Tony and Mark are doing great we're just clicking along pretty good took a little break to get some drink of water and and uh, Mark had a little bit of beef jerky so I took some of that it was really good and uh, yeah the weather's beautiful nice breeze about 70 degrees and uh, just amazing, amazing out right now. Porcupine Mountains, really, really cool. Looking forward to getting to camp right on Lake Superior. So we should be there in another, I don't know, maybe 45 minutes or so. We'll see. We think this is the little carp? The little carp. I'm thinking it is. All right, I'm going with that. You can see a trail on the other side. It looks like there might be a trail along the bottom coming right down to the oh, those pine trees. Wow. <laughs> cool. Beautiful. Kind of cool. Yeah, I'm gonna come behind you. Don't fall. Oh yeah. Yeah, so a slight correction. Memagua. I don't know if that's how you actually say it, but I think this is the Memagua. Memagua Creek. Something like that. I don't know. Yeah, that is, that's cool. The the ones up down there. Yeah, I think somebody, I bet you people go down there and get yeah. water and stuff. Yeah. yeah. 
Cool, man. Nice find. That's sweet. Pretty. Very cool. Sorry, what's it pointing? Big carp, little carp, fast eel. I thought. Well, it's on the Lake Superior Trail, so we have yeah, it's got to go, go right. Little Carp River, I think. Yeah, so is we have to go that way, to. and then we go left, and we get to it. Correct. I would agree. We can check the map if that would make anybody feel more. Because Presque Isle is going the opposite way we want to go. All right, now we're on the North Country Trail too. Sweet. Carp then? Say what? Is this a little carp? I'm thinking it is. All right, we're going with that. Maybe not. There's Lake Superior right there. Hello. Yes, yeah, that's, that's it. Going, yep. Oh, look at that. We got a little waterfall. Oh, that's right there. All right, so we got. We can stop here for a minute and enjoy this. Heck yeah. Animal! <laughs> there's Lake Superior right there. And that yep. it is. Yep, yep. And there's a Beautiful. tree. Beautiful. Oh, that's sweet. Okay. And then we got, we got a nice waterfall. Nice oh man, look at this. It's like waterfall, waterfall, waterfall. What's that hole right there? Uh, water something water bubbly currents. lives there, I think. Huh? Water curves. They made that hole right there yep. in that rock. Yep. So. We know it tomorrow. We go down, we leave here. We go down a little farther. The first deal, and you're going to see some holes this time. Yeah. Boy up in the rock. Mm -hmm. It gives you an idea how long it's been there. But yeah, that's Me too. Wow. Having trouble finding our campsite. Lakeshore is nice. Awesome. Oh well. Check in with you when we have a plan. Me too. Check it out. Alright, so we're at LS3. Got this sweet site. There's Mark, there's Tony. Tony's smiling, I think. This is cool. Nice job. There's here's your there's the bear bear stuff. Right here. Yeah, with the red hole on it. Yep. Alright, so we hang our bear bags there. Excellent. We made it. Hey, Tony. LS3. I wanna share an old saying. Lake Superior, there is Wisconsin, right there, on the west, phone west phone side phone. of the UP. My phone right. rang over there, yeah. I got an email or something, yeah. hands up. Yep. All right, so we're at the campsite and we're just kind of hanging out, um, getting some wood for, for a fire and stuff. And uh, so my tent, that's my tent. I'm using a trekking pole tent this time. Used it for the first time last uh, at the in Virginia a couple weeks ago, and uh, I'm gonna try it out here. So uh, there's uh, ooh, Tony's staying right here, and then Mark's staying right here. They got a couple freestanding tents, which is awesome. And so I don't know who made these. Uh, windbreak things but man it's awesome so we can have a super sweet fire tonight and uh, um, then also protect our wind off the lake it's awesome so and this is what we're looking at for our campsite so it's ls3 if you ever come up here this is an amazing site so just right behind me there's the lake awesome and uh, it just looks so cool Yeah, that's that's the view from our campsite. It's amazing. It's so, so cool. But yeah, so the other guys are out getting firewood and uh, I just grabbed some. I feel like a slacker because I'm doing this instead. But anyway, we'll probably get dinner here in just a little bit and uh, let you know what we're having. Rick Smyers. Yeah. All right, so I'll close it up. And then we're going to let it sit for five minutes, which will be in 6.08 on my watch, which is... 708 on your watch. Oh, it's just put away. 
on your clock, your phone, your whatever. That's a good way to check if it's off. <laughs> Seared flesh. Oh, still on. Nothing to it, man. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking man. this is going to be in. Some are really, really good. If you get it, if, the, the trick is to get it really nice and hydrated again. Is yeah. Otherwise, you're going to be mm -hmm. crunchy, have yeah. crunchy food, which isn't the end of the world. But I'm breaking. You want, you want the, All right. the title of it? Tony, you got uh, beef stew. How's the beef stew? It says pretty good. I got no complaints with it. Tony likes the beef stew. Beef stew's good. Mark's got chicken teriyaki. Oh yeah. How do you like it? I'll uh, use a glass of sake and I'll be good. <laughs> glass of sake. All right, and I got, what do I have? Chicken fettuccine. fettuccine. And it's fantastic. Yeah. Eating like kings, as someone wise once said. You really only need one. I'm not going to all one that one not to work out. Kindling. Kindling. So, just watching the sunset over uh, Lake Superior from our campsite. And uh, there it is. And so we're just gonna settle in and kinda hang out and watch that for a little while. It's uh, it's beautiful, we had a perfect, perfect night. Ate up, we just put it, hung our bear bags and um, yeah, we're uh, gonna settle in, settle in, in, enjoy the fire for a while. Get the, uh, man, that sun is bright. Wow. So, the next half hour, the sun's gonna go down and hopefully get to watch that. And we're having a real nice time. Mark and Tony, a lot of fun, and uh, really, really glad to be able to hang out with them. So, yeah, we'll uh, catch up to you in a little bit. First look at the lake. Just saw a couple of ducks, and uh, it's, it's a really nice morning. The sun's coming up over here. It's about 6:30 by my watch, but my watch. 
much change to the central time. The other guys are still on eastern time. That's probably really simple. Get some coffee and uh, get moving. You proud of it? Because it's not instant coffee. Oh, I see what he got me. His paws. Oh, it's looking nice and black. So we're about a mile out of camp, and uh, Tony and Mark are back there. Tony's motoring on. Got about two miles back to the car, and then we're gonna take it up to Presque Isle and check that out, and then eventually get over to the over to the cabin. Yeah, that's amazing. Cool shot we saw the other day. Beautiful. So yeah, a couple more miles and we'll be back to the car. See you in a bit. Hi ho! Hi ho! They <laughs> stopped at the cabin room. That's why I stopped here. There's Mark enjoying a little time. There's the bridge. The nice little. Babbling little waterfall thingy. This is awesome. So cool. Yeah, so we're just taking a break. Uh, we got another, I don't know, a mile or so back to the car, and uh, yeah, yeah, we're having a good time. Thanks for the break, fellas. Absolutely. Well, we only need two more before we're done here. All right, so we're coming into the Pinkerton Trailhead. The car's up here. The guys are cranking out the miles. So we got about seven in total for the trip so far. We can grab the car and head to Presque Isle. Well, that's a little different hike in there, Tony. It's basically hiking along the river. It's just a short little area. I mean, you can run Presque Isle all the way back to our campsite. Don't even park right next to the trail. You don't have too far to go. Good job, guys. Huh? Good job. Yeah, that was a good first night in the woods, man. I agree. Sweet. Now you find my Here we are. Packs. Time to check stuff. Sure. Sorry to give me a heads up. All right, so we're on a trail I'm gonna do my the Presque Isle Scenic area, area here in the Porkies. But and we're going to go check out some waterfalls, check out. Uh, Lake Superior, the Presque Isle River and stuff. So I'll show you some stuff here in a minute. There's the gang. They're making plans to go find a hamburger. So we'll see what happens. No, sir. You should, you should go on a kayaking trip sometime. Yeah, it has less walking. <laughs> it does have less more walking. Paddling. Well, that reminds me. I know you guys think I'm crazy, but I'm going to go back to Isle Royal and 
when you land at the western end, let me tell you, there's a camp store. Cool over there. Presque Isle River. Super cool. Look at that. Oh man. Beautiful. Alright, so this is the Manabezo, Manabezo Falls. I have no idea how you say it, but check that out. Oh yeah. That's sweet. Yep. That's what I was talking about, where it splits apart in different... Yeah, oh, that's wow. cool. Let's see, like I was telling Tony, I think some people might have been cool things out here. I like that. Ooh, that's kind of cool. There we go. Back it up and it's 65 people. Look one here. Right on. There you go. Awesome. Beautiful. Let's hit the other side. Man, so cool. Pretty bad. <laughs> this is awesome, man. Beauty, eh? I bet there's fish in here. No fires, no fun. That's true. You good? This is sweet. Me, I'm always stretching, so I don't... Like, Show us the way, Mark. What's the right way to go? I'm, I'm going to follow the edge of the cliff, man. I want to follow the edge of the cliff with Mark. Another nice shot of right. the bridge and the, and the oh, water yeah. slide. Absolutely. That's cool. Didn't say you can't watch the Northern Lights. That's awesome. That would this be would be cool if we had your camp chair right now and then two more of those camp chairs because <laughs> having a squat right here and just kicking it for like an hour would be amazing. Yeah, he'd be sitting on a rock. Yeah, like about two o'clock in the morning, man. If the sky is clear tonight, it's not that far of a drive and a hike. Straight across the bridge, boom. Trail on our way to section 17 cabin. Anyway. There we go. All right. This is gonna be a good night, man. We're gonna get food, I might have, drink. We, we got might a have designated to, driver. We might have to carry Mark back. <laughs> but I mean, he doesn't weigh as much as this pack. You can anyway, do the fireman's so. carry, right? <laughs> yeah, and you don't weigh as much as this pack anyway. <laughs> you guys are such weirdos. I got you both. I got you. I got you. you know, got a place we're going back to get my phone in a minute anyway. Hey, you know what, guys? A good stargate no, that's a mile and a half. I'm just saying it's open. Mile and a quarter to the cabin. Right now? Yeah, on the sign. Mile and a quarter. Yeah, that figures that's the half mile we first did. Alright, All right, so this must be the little carp. Sweet. Little carp river trail. Then we spent the night at 17, then we spent the night at mirror. Um, All right, so we are here, and we are just going right over here, a mile and a quarter. I'm gonna set up shop. All right, here we go. Catch you later. Right, we got less than half a mile to the cabin. There's the guys. We're having a lot of fun. Been a fun, been a fun day today. We'll be there soon. Section 17 cabin. Little Carp River is right out there. Greenstone Falls right up to the right. This is awesome. So yeah. Make it home for a bit. All right, so this is walking out our front porch down to the. Yeah, Little Carp River. There's the bridge we crossed over. This is a really cool, pretty remote 
part of the park. It's pretty cool. So that's where we came from. Right over there. Little cart trail continues on that way. Pretty cool. Pretty really sweet. All right, so we uh, went into town, had uh, some burgers, got some stuff we needed, and uh, just hanging out by the fire. There's the fire. And uh, yeah, getting ready for bed, so it's the end of day number two. And, uh, yeah, see you in the morning. Alright, we got day two. Mark's having granola and blueberries. Tony's got granola and strawberries. Mountain House versus Peak Refuel. Mountain House. How do you like it? Do you like Mark's strawberries? Yeah. Taste the difference. You can see, I don't like blueberries, so I'm not going to taste the difference. So you can taste it. making some fancy coffee over there. What kind of coffee was it? Um, Ethiopian. Ethiopian coffee. Yeah, what are the flavors on this thing? I don't know. Me too. Yeah. Tony's getting prepared to use the restroom. <laughs> Nice knowing you, Tony. If you don't come back, <laughs> won't tell Piper you were yeah. to the end. Yeah. Day two begins. Day two. Day three. Is this day three? Three. Oh my gosh. Five day five three. three. I'll say. What's that? Should I bring my gun? Day three. <laughs> no, but. Yeah, so uh, right now we uh, don't really have any plans for the day. Beginning of day number three. Or at the cabin just up up there and uh, I think a couple of us may go to Summit Peak. We might hike up there and uh, but uh, we're just kind of chilling out. Had some coffee, had a little breakfast and we're just kind of just enjoying the quiet, enjoying the scenery. It's pretty cool. I mean this is a really pretty remote place. It's pretty cool. It's just a lot of fun. The weather's holding off. I think we're supposed to get some rain maybe tomorrow but uh, we just had a lot of fun hanging out together and and uh, enjoying our time as friends and everything. So it's awesome. All right, all right. So Mark and I are here at the Summit Peak Scenic Area on our way to the peak of Summit Peak, which is not really a mountain as we've learned. Forty-two, 42 feet, feet short, yeah. forty-two feet short. So there we go. It's a short hike, but a lot of uphill. So. Yeah, it's only like half a mile ish, give or take. So cool. So we're going to be on the top in just a few minutes. Mark's ready to go, it appears. <laughs> All right, ready? All right, here we go. I'll eat you. <laughs> All right, rock and roll. You ready? Yeah, I just want to check something. Real quick. No worries. Summit Peak Trail. Sweet, here we go. And that looks like a steady climb. Steady climb. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's not the part. Yep. Yeah. Alright, we're almost there. Let me know if I'm going too slow. Oh no. Break, break. Yeah, I'm gonna go take a look out of this. Yeah, you can see the tops are changing at the top. Yeah, there's some <laughs> orange and yellow and red. If I'm not mistaken, Government Peak should be over to the left. You see that layer that is on the dark hump? So that's Government I think Peak that's right government there. Peak. Okay, cool. Look at that. It's over there, because now we're on the other side of the. Uh, no. Right, Lake of the Clouds is on the other side. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the colors are starting. Sweet. 
Man, just kind of. We still got a little ways up to go. Sweet. Summit Peak, we're almost there. It's pretty. Tony could have knocked that out, no problem. It was, yeah, it wasn't a hard hike at all. Oh no, you're fine. Oh, you're get a shot of that. Yeah, it Summit Peak elevation, one thousand nine hundred fifty-eight feet. Now we're on to the third of a mile. observation tower. Let's say a third and eighth. I don't know, it's that way. Yeah, I think it is an eighth. Cool, here we go. He's on the ground. Oh, they're all over the ground, the bridge. The higher and you get, the more leaves you got. What's today, the second or third? It's today the third? third? September 3rd, and it's, yeah, this is kind of amazing. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, me too. No one. Right, I'll be at the top of this thing here in a minute. Sweet. Yeah, right on. <laughs> All right, here's the tower. <laughs> that's it, there we go, cool. Oh. All right, here we go, we're gonna climb this baby. Oh, hell no. I'd be up there. I hear you, I hear you. Here's the view. No, you're fine, man. You're good. Ah, oh, sweet. The colors. Man, I can't believe the colors are going already. This is amazing. All right, yeah, so Mark and I made it to the top. Where's Mark? There's Mark. It should tell you, oh, you're right on here. Yeah, yeah, it shows where the- uh, The government peak is. Yeah. Yeah, and, is it? yeah this is awesome. 1,958 feet. Summit Peak. Yeah, Not quite a month. <laughs> Stop on the way home. <laughs> Super cool. Yeah. I think Tony missed out on this one. Tony was asking what we did last time. What we did last time. Section 17 cabin. Yeah, the floor is nice. Here's a tour of the cabin. There's no lights, so even though it's daytime, there's a stove. I have to use my light. There's our little kitchen, our food. There's the bunks. Sleep floor. Sweet. So yeah, we made a nice little mess of this place. But uh, we're, uh, we're having a lot of fun. It's cool. Just got back from Summit Peak, so we're hanging out now and uh, figuring out what we're gonna do. Hey, Grace, for our food. Did you already take a bite? I licked a little bit of it, but I didn't take a bite. Smell of vision. It smells pretty good. It does. It does smell like you could use a little salt. How's it? Al dente? But good. We need more. Time? Nope. I like the little loud on take. Texture. This actually might be some of the best nice macaroni mm. cheese I've had. It's aside from like the Stouffer's kind where you cook it and it gets brown on top. Out of any kind you just cook, this is pretty good. It's not bad. I think Tony's developing a liking for Mountain House. I think That's he is. Plus, if he's considering Isle Royal. You have sweet and sour pork? Yes. How is it? A little sweet, a little sour. It's pretty good. <laughs> Do you get a hunk of pork yet? Yeah, a bunch of little hunks of pork. Those are little hunks of pork? Those yeah. are like peas. It's pork, man. Okay, good for you. Don't get sick. <coughs> I like it. It is a little al dente, though. A little bit. Mm. But not too much. Mm, yeah. Let you know you got it's something in your mouth. So, so you I do. I think I'm going with two a little bit. That's Big Joe they write about in the... Man... Section like 17 cabin. They blew you. Oh man, he's creepy, isn't he? Yep. Slater's he's gonna creepy. crawl on us tonight while we're sleeping. No, he can't get in. Man, 
See, mine are blurry. I need to have ice. It's ice cream time. Mint, mint, it's and I got mint. It's an ice cream wrapper too. Regular. Is that cool or what? It's really cool. Oh yeah. Holy smokes! It is a nut regular. Mm -hmm. All right. You know why? How crumbly is it? So, you, like, you legit just just one. eat it? No, no. I'm eating my finger like a waffle thing. All right, Tony's. Is there instructions on how to do this? Whatever you do. No, the instructions don't... say, ready to eat, no drip, no mess. Oh, no. <laughs> Seriously? This is a girl style cookie. What, like a Thin Mint? Yeah. Well, I, agree. I agree. <laughs> We're going to be throwing up the yeah, rain. All three of us are going to be up. Oh, man. Thank you, Tony. All right, so we're at the end of day number three. We've just kind of been farting around all day, just hanging out around the cabin and stuff. It's been a lot of fun, actually. So, obviously, we went to the Summit Peak and stuff, and just had some lunch and dinner and hung around. It's been pretty quiet, it's been really cool. So, I really enjoyed the time with with uh, Mark and Tony, a lot of fun. So let's catch you in the morning and see what's going on. See ya. One last look at the Porkies before we head out. All right, so we're in. Day four, heading out from camp back to the car. About 7.30 a.m., it's raining. We've had a good time, so about a mile we'll be on our way home. Yep, so we got about half a mile to go and then find some grub and a 10 hour drive home. Thanks to Mark and Tony for a great trip. Thanks for watching if you actually made it this far. Like, subscribe, and comment. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Like, comment, and leave with me.